Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and I'm continuing my top tools for 2022. And in this case, I'm going to address the German Swiss brands, not necessarily where they're made, um, but uh, the tools that are not Knipex, but generally have a German or Swiss heritage. And um, starting out, well, this isn't part of it because that's just a prop. Um, I don't use it that much, but I do like the, the joker wrenches. Didn't make this list, by the way. Um, so, let's start at the top here. PB Swiss little dead blow mallets. Soft plastic on one side, metal on the other. Um, I like the feel of the wood. This just feels great in the hand, especially when you need a little bit more precision in your tapping. Um, and this doesn't seem to mar. Um, I've accidentally hit aluminum with it, and it it doesn't leave the the metal a, kind of there's a, a metal streak on it that uh, the steel steel hammers do. But you know it is steel, but it, there's obviously some coating on it. But anyway, I like that. Nice, highly controllable. Um, I wish they would make even a smaller one than this little guy. But that made the list um, from Vera. This um, this particular screwdriver, it's got you know the quick release bit tip, um, flexible shaft built in. Of course, I've got you know flexible shafts I can insert into a you know existing screwdriver handle, um, but I just go I grab this one all the time. It's just really handy, you know, especially if you can't fully align something. Um, you know, you can easily direct it up at the front end, um, and it does bend around corners. It's just saved me a bunch of times. Um, definitely one that I would replace if I lost it. Um, next, the PB Swiss Stubby with Bit Carousel, especially when these, you know, are in the mid $20 range. Um, I, I've used a whole bunch of stubbies. This is by far my favorite. The grippiness on the handle, these bits, uh, the PB Swiss bits are just some of the best in the world. Um, and then just having access to a full assortment of Torx and Phillips and a slotted um, in such a small, handy, um, comfortable, easy to use tool definitely made the list. Um, next, the Gador uh, offset pliers. It's kind of like a multiplier, um, similar Cobresque uh, jaw configuration, plus the standard front end with um, one direction of, of teeth. Uh, good cutters, fit great in the hand, um, and they are, they are symmetrical. Normally I have trouble with that on things like this, but these actually fit in the hand really well. Um, they're just good to use, to, just completely natural. Um, and that's important for a tool. Um, next, another Vera screwdriver. This is the ratcheting T-handle. Got this recently, and it is, it's glorious. It's wonderful. It's um, very easy to use, very kind of flat, reversible. Um, and this is the, uh, it's got a lock on it. This is the, actually the hex drive, or the um, quarter square driver, so I can use it with sockets. But I picked this up, so I'm going to add that to the, the list as, as uh, I don't know, whatever I've got here, 6.1 or 6.5. Um, and that's um, this little, I think it's a hazard. Um, yeah, there it is. 8506-PH2. It's a Phillips um, driver that just drops right on. But this is really the winner. This just, it's well designed, I think. Um, Fits great in the hand, um, highly controllable, good T-handle. Um, next, another PB Swiss. This is the longer shaft ratcheting screwdriver. Uh, and, you know, I end up grabbing this more than I grab some of my conventional snap-ons, things like that. Um, it's just a joy to use. The precision, very nice. And... Um, the magnetic strength up here is, is the strongest I think I've ever felt. Um, I have the shorter one as well. That's nice and handy, but I often use a bit carousel one when I want something smaller. But the more I use this, it's just a great, great screwdriver. Next, 
another entry from Vera. This is the holding function um, hexes. So I'm going to open this guy up. Whoops, I had it open, ready to go. Um, is a set of uh, 10 to 1.5 millimeter um, hexes with their kind of holding function design. These fit in, especially into hexes that are just starting to, you know, take a few clothes off. Not fully stripped, but they definitely are on their way. And uh, these seem to work really well. Um, and the color coding. Uh, PB Swiss makes really nice conventional ones that ha that are painted, which I, I don't mind the paint. I think that's great. These have a plastic collar around them. Sometimes that makes them a little thicker, but I haven't actually run into that too much except with these little ones, and that's it's been okay. Um, I like the way that these are, are uh, presented in this case. Um, allows you to get out about any one of them easily, slide it out, um, and go to work, easily put it back, tell which one's missing, um, and the color coding. So once you, you learn, like the five is, is used almost constantly, um, you know, you know what you're looking for. So that definitely made the list. Uh, next, also Vera, in this top 10, are these diamond bits. These are impressive. Um, this is the kit full of them. So you've got a bunch of, uh, um, Phillips across the top, uh, Posi drives or JAS. Um, you've got the hex or the Torx across here, slotted, a bit um, holder, all in this solid little case here. But these diamond bits, um, you can see, um, they actually grip so well that you know often you can stick the tool into the fastener and then let go of the tool and it stays. They really grab hard. Just amazing bits. Um, so that that's definitely a, a, a keeper there. Um, next, uh, recent addition. These are those Koken um, extenders or extensions for sockets. These are 3 eighths here, but they have both the wobble and the the locked or non-wobble, uh, and they work better than any I've used, better than the snap-on, I guess. The only other main one I've used. Uh, silky smooth, just beautiful. Um, so the Koken extensions um, made the list. Actually, that's not German, is it? That's Japanese. Sorry, I'm gonna have to make up a, a new German one for that. Oh, here's one. This is the PB Swiss. It's a coin screwdriver, I guess they call that. Originally, I think it was for film canisters or winding things. I ended up using this for all kinds of stuff. I hadn't realized how many little plastic fasteners and clips and things like that. Um, these actually, uh, th or this actually fits. And there's a little bit longer handled one. It's got a handle maybe more like that. And I think I might, might pick it up um, uh, for, you know, similar uses but a little bit more um, grip but anyway that's that's my list there so definitely a uh, um, a cool set of tools interesting but if you need one more because of that let me grab one there we go so this completes the 10 since I had a Japanese tool in there. Sorry about that. These, this is the smaller, um, this crosses over the 10 millimeter in the Joker. Um, and this actually does come in handy. And I do use this one. It's, it's a nice solid functional wrench. Um, good to have. And there's my top 10 uh, German Swiss tools, not Knipex, with a Koken thrown in for 2022. And with that, Doc out.